New details after two horrifying child tragedies. We're now hearing from the family of twin teenage brothers after they sadly drowned on Friday. Local 10's Terrell Fournay joins us live from Northwest Miami-Dade with what they had to say about the heartbreaking deaths. Terrell. Yeah, that family identifying these two young boys as <laughs> Alex and Andrew Paul, both of them just 13 years old, twin brothers who were apparently out with friends at this neighborhood lake when that fun turned into tragedy. Police out there, someone's in the water. Two days after a rescue attempt that ended with a double tragedy at a neighborhood lake, we're learning more about the two boys who drowned. The stepfather of the twin 13-year-old victims speaking to Local 10. For our children to die in a situation like this, it's horrible. In Creole, Joinel Luis said it was the first time the boys had ever been to the body of water at Arthur Woodard Park in northwest Miami-Dade, less than a half mile away from their home. On Friday afternoon, the teens were among a group of kids playing on the embankment when one of the brothers fell into the lake. The boy's twin brother jumped in to help, but neither one could swim. Another child called 911. They found him. He was uh, tied up from the legs. They have a... That lake has like a lot of weeds. Sky 10 was over the scene as divers searched the water, believed to be as deep as 40 feet in some areas. Both of the twin boys ultimately died following the incident, leaving their family in a world of grief. For a situation like this to happen, for me to lose my kid, I would hope that changes will be made to kind of maybe make it a little bit safer for other children. That way they don't have to deal with what we're going through right now. Okay. And the mother of these twin boys, just too distraught to speak on camera, the stepfather says that their very next step is to find the strength to plan a funeral. We know that this investigation is now underway by the Miami-Dade Police Department. They are looking into the circumstances that led up to uh, that initial child falling into this body of water. Reporting live from Northwest Miami-Dade, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.